We couldn't be more excited about what's going on across the street here. Just standing here outside J.H. Baxter today, the air smells fresh and clean. We don't smell anything because they're shutting down because of the work of Beyond Toxics. For years, J.H. Baxter has polluted this neighborhood. Beyond Toxics has been working for decades to give some relief to this community. Our work has resulted in a fine issued by the DEQ, the Department of Environmental Quality, for a quarter of a million dollars. Standing here in front of J.H. Baxter, knowing that they have been shut down due to public pressure and the good work of our regulatory agencies is the moment I've been waiting for, for over 15 years. Beyond Toxics has been working to, number one, draw attention to the pollution from J.H. Baxter, and number two, explain to the community the harm that they were facing, and number three, research the health effects that all the pollution from J.H. Baxter was having on this community. In all the years Beyond Toxics has been working with this community, the community has spoken up and said they know harm is occurring. They know contamination is occurring, and now it's been proven. Finally, our state agencies listened to the community and did testing throughout the neighborhood. They found high levels of dioxin contamination in the soils of people's backyards and in public parks. Dioxin is one of the most poisonous compounds known to us. It causes cancer and a host of other serious illnesses. We've accomplished our goal with all three things, showing that there are high rates of cancer, including lung cancer and Hodgkin's lymphoma in this neighborhood, showing that there's dioxin that our regulatory agencies have now discovered in the soils, and that J.H. Baxter has been a repeated and intentional polluter. All these things together, and the community's will and our hard work has created the situation now where they have shut down, but we're not done. We still have to hold this polluter accountable. Just because they've shut down doesn't mean they can walk away from the contamination they've caused in the Bethel community. It's J.H. Baxter who must be held accountable for the cleanup. We're here to make sure that happens.